All right, guys. I'm down here. I came down to Mike's house uh, for engine day because Mike's been so busy and, and working different shifts. Matter of fact, he's working night shift now. Yeah. And for me and him to get together, I have to come down to him. <laughs> and uh, we're going to work on this uh, coil here. Remember, the, we made this uh, machine here, the coil winder? And that's, that's like a 1920s, Mike? Yeah, it's off of a, uh, a Model F or is that a Model Y coil? They're pretty much the same They're the same thing, yeah. Yeah, pretty much the same. But anyway, we, so. we thought it was just the primary or secondary? Well, the secondary was bad. Right. We thought, we thought it was only secondary was bad, but it turns out the primary is just as bad. So Well, uh, yeah, we're, we're starting to see the insulation, the varnish flaking off of the, the primary winding there. So we're going to go ahead and tear that off and replace that. Hopefully okay. we get that done today. All right, so that's the first thing we're going to do is uh, take that off and count the windings. Yep. All right. All right, I'm learning here, so Mike is going to show me how to do it. That way, I have another one of these at home. When I, when I want to do it, I'll, I'll have a basic idea. Mike, is, is, is it probably your third one now? Yeah, third or fourth, yep. Yeah. I've done a few of them. And they've, and they've all worked, so. Uh, all right, we're going to uh, start taking this off, and uh, I may throw the camera on while he's doing it, and we'll figure it out from there. So let's go. All right, we'll see how our buddy Mike is doing over there. Here's, uh, he took all his wire off. And you can see as he was taking it off, see how shiny it is? Uh, all the enamel just came off, so it was... Flaking right off. It paid its dues. Matter of fact, we swept up the fluids all over the floor. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Looks like he uh, cleaned it all up, replaced one of the insulators. The other one was a little compromised, so... Yeah, just a little. So, we just made a new one out of this. This is pretty, pretty thick gasket paper. It's actually pretty rigid. Mm. So, slip that on there. And uh, now we've got to wrap the core with some friction tape, and it ended up being three layers, approximately 90 to 91 turns per layer. So that's our target. Okay. What does that come to? That's uh, 90, uh, 2,200, uh, yeah, that's it. 2,700? Yeah, that's 27. <laughs> 2,700. 270. <laughs> I was only off by uh, a couple thousand. <laughs> All right. All right, now you're going to put this machine there, and uh, we'll start spinning it. Start winding. All right. All right, let's get a quick update here. I noticed, Mike, uh, what was that you put on there? Uh, friction tape, this stuff. Okay. This is good stuff, Very a lot of tar, really sticky. So we put, um, there's, I think there's three layers on here total. There's, I put uh, what layers lengthwise on the edges, then wrapped it once, and then I put uh, individual wraps. So one, one wrap, two wrap, three wrap, four wrap, five wrap, mm. all there next to each other. And what was there originally? Uh, similar to this, it was kind of like a cardboardy, waxy stuff. Uh, I, I, I mean, it disintegrated into dirt. So, right. well, it's it just, I don't, I don't know. You, you remember earlier, it was all rusty too. So it was right, whatever, right. whatever was there got moisture in it and kind of just decomposed into rusty mm -hmm. dirt. So it's just, just so it insulates, right? That's all it has to do. Yeah, it's just to keep the wire, the the the, the delicate wire, the enamel wire, from chafing up against the steel core. Right. So, you know, we got nice rounded edges there. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it, I like the sticky stuff, so that, that wire is actually going to sink into here. And right, right, kind embed, of itself. embed itself yeah. in there, yeah. And then, you know, it's, it's fiber reinforced, so it's, it's good stuff. Okay, it's going to outlast us. Right, so That's now what we got to do, we're, we're ready to start the coil, so the starting point is going to be that brass button right there. So we're going to feed the wire through this hole right there and soldered onto that brass button. That's going to be the grounding point of the primary winding. The other side of the primary was going to come out this other hole right here, right there, and going to go to the points. Okay. So, uh, we're, we're actually got to solder two wires on here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to bring the primary in and I'm going to bring a little tail in, which would be the secondary, because they right. both ground at the same point. So, you, you'll see, I'll, I'll start the primary, then I'll bring another piece of primary wire through the hole and just bend it back like this so that when we go to wind the secondary that really thin secondary wire we can solder to the, the pri that, that primary gauge wire instead of trying to bring it out here right, right. where it's going to get damaged. So, okay. All right, enough all right. talking. Come Good on, enough. let's go. All right, Mike's all set up here. He's got his glove on. He's got his uh, machine all ready to go. And uh, I'll be turning it on and off here because I forgot to bring the foot pedal. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, stuff happens, right, buddy? That's it. Are right, you ready? Tell me when. Go 
you got to do 270 turns. That's about 90, 91 turns a minute, or 90, 90 turns on uh, a layer. A layer. And it looks like it's embedded nice, Mike. Yeah, I, I, I skipped the one at the beginning there, but the, the primary is a nice, easy one to wind. This one's going to be a little short because we didn't start right at the edge, so that's that's not going to be the end of the world. Shut her down. Okay, so we got 82 on that one, which is which is fine. Yeah, that's, really, that's pretty we, good. We started in a little bit, so the, the rest will uh, will will do full. We could probably even make up a little bit closer. So probably make up the uh, the rest on the other two passes. We're gonna write that down. So in the first layer we got 82. Okay, perfect. So let's see here. I want to just go back. I guess we can just go back over. The way, we, the way we came. Okay. Uh, let me reset the counter. Okay. All right, hit it. Yeah. Every other subsequent layer is more is hard because now I don't I don't have a nice black background to go go on. I'm looking at green on green here. Mm. So I'm kind of going by feel, by moving my hand as I feel the wire kind of move along. And I can kind of see the, the profile on the top of the second layer on the first. Yeah, that gear motor is really nice. Smooth operation. No insulating paper between the layers on this one. The voltage is low enough, we don't really need it. There's 50 revolutions there. Seven. Okay, that's good. We made up. We're gonna make it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do one more wrap back over, and that's gonna be where we terminate because it's got to come out through the hole in this uh, insulating paper, and then out to the points. Okay. So, it's going pretty good. Yeah. Maybe Seems to be a good speed. Yeah. I mean, for this anyway, you're only doing three layers. You know, it's different if you got to do a thousand. Like well, that. yeah, and. You might want to speed it up a little bit, but well, in, in, in fact, you're probably going to want to slow it down a little bit. 
for the fine wire because you're going to have oh, a lot less control over that. You're right. But the fine wire, at least, we're going to have insulating paper between the layers, so you'll have a good background. It won't be like it won't be the color of the wire on the on the wire. Right. You know what I mean? You'll be mm -hmm. able to see you're winding it. So, all right, uh, go ahead and hit it. Okay. Manual control. Kind of a little bugger right here. Too far. Oh well. I'm not trying to radio Mars here. What we're no. trying to do is throw a spark. But these these kind of cheap kind of, these cheap jersey gloves are nice, just for letting the, the wire kind of slide through your fingers, mm -hmm. and you can regulate the tension. That's what they're called. They're they're brown jersey gloves. We're not saying that because we're from Jersey. That's their name, brown jersey. Alright, I don't know if you want to stop at 90, but I'll let you know where we're at. Now, we'll just finish it now, through. I'll let you know where we're going to stop. Okay. Get your finger on that switch. Okay. Get close. Alright. At 85. 90. 90. Alright, shut her down. Okay, so it worked out good. In the first one, we, we missed a couple ones, but that's okay. Yeah. So now, let me come over the other side here so we can see. Okay, that's a little better view. Yeah, looks okay. Looks nice, yeah. nice and tight. Yeah, I mean it feels nice and tight. I try to get my glove off here so I can get a piece of uh, friction tape and hold the tail of that down. I should have had a piece cut already. Say what? Just wrap it around like this. Be fine. Piece of this off. Ah, it's tight. Where's these your cutters? No, I got it. That's fine. So that friction tape is good stuff. I'm just gonna tape it on here like that, so it doesn't come on unwind it on us. Cut a nice length off of here. Here we go. One primary winding. We can take it on out of the. Armature here. And take a look at it right now. All we're going to do, because I got to leave, so uh, we're just going to do the primary now, and then uh, we don't know when we'll get back to it, but uh, we'll get back to it. Yeah. Yeah, the secondary is a whole job in itself. Yeah. A whole different animal. Primary is easy by comparison. So we'll just take that, peel this off of here. I like that color too, green. Yeah. Not that anybody's going to see it. <laughs> You're sticking it through a little hole there. Yeah. Tilt it down so we can see the hole. There we go. Okay. So, I'm actually going to leave a little zigzag in it like this. Hmm. Just so I can get a piece of tape around that. And then, yeah, I mean, there'll be a layer, one layer of friction tape over this. And then we'll start start secondary. Okay. All right. We say uh, it's good enough for this video. And like I say, we're going to get back. I don't know when we'll get back to you, but because we got a lot of shows coming up, and uh, it's been a while since we got this. Right. And we don't exactly look forward to this. this yeah. Is, right. This right. is not the the greatest pastime right here. No. You know, but it's something that needs to be done. So, 
it's mm -hmm. a it's a necess it's it's a necessary part of being in the old engine hobby is you know learning how to do this kind of stuff and right. doing it when you have to yeah plus we, we told the guys we we're going to show them how to do it and uh we'll do that so right all right what do you guys say enough of this enough of this all right see you in the next one